Hello everybody, it is our Monday learning today and we're going to be making tally charts. We do make tally charts at school when we're doing our house points, so remember back to that when you are thinking about tally charts today. We will be doing a little warm up with myself and then introducing bronze, silver and our challenge. Please pick an activity that will suit you best and let's get going. So make tally charts activity. Let's get ready and warm up. How many is represented here? So have a look at number one. What are we going to be counting in to make it a little bit easier today? Pause here if you need to have a think. So obviously I'm going to check which hand, how many fingers he has on each hand, just in case they're trying to trick us. One, two, three, four, five. So I know I can count in my fives. So let's do that together. Five, ten. Well done. And hopefully you got that as well. Again here, check what we're counting in and then count in that multiple. Off you go. So obviously you would have checked how many is in each first. So one, two, three, four, five. So let's count in our fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. They're showing me the fives. There we go, 25. So here they are looking at their juices. So let's pause here and have a little think about what, how many there are. So let's have a little look. So there's three there. And there's 10 here, so there is 13. If not, I would have counted in my two. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well done if you got 13. So now let's move on to our learning today. So Teddy is drawing a tally chart while his mum unpacks the shopping. How many bananas, mum? He shouts. She says there's five altogether, dear. So we're looking at tally charts today and I want you to think about how we write our house points. So bear that in mind as we go through these slides. So he knows there's five, so he's got a little post-it note here. One, two, three, four, five. Pause here and have a little discussion, whether that's out loud or with a grown-up or a sibling. Have a little think about what they have done. Would you have done it differently? So let's keep that in mind and move on. So now there are some grapes and he's going to tell each other. There he goes. So it doesn't look very organised and hopefully he has a little think about how we do it at school, which makes it a little bit clearer. So what they're doing is on the fifth tally, they are drawing through the four. So when you get up to four, that's absolutely fine. But when you have a fifth, you cross it through. So then it's a lot easier to see how many there are. So right now I know there's 10 there. However, here I'd have to take my time and carefully count them. And then there were more here. So at home on a piece of scrap paper, can you draw me a five tally chart to show how many bananas that he has? So hopefully you did this. And on the fifth one, you draw a line through your tally chart. Well done. So now I want you to pause here, have a little thing, and can you draw a tally for these amount of fruits? So the first one, there are some pairs. So one, two, three, four, five. So hopefully you remember to draw your four with a line through for your fifth. Here there are two strawberries, so just two lines, and here there are two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So again, five and five makes ten, and they've carefully drawn through their fifth line to make it a really lovely tally there. So let's watch this carefully. If you've got your scrap piece of paper and pencil at home, please tally them whilst you're watching this clip. So let's have a look. Even if you just write cars on your piece of paper and then start your tally and bikes as well, that'd be brilliant. So, so hopefully you've got one tally next to car. And there was one bike. Hmm, that looked like a horse. Do we have anything to put the places there? I think they're trying to trick us. Keep going. There was another car. Well done. So carefully think about your tally chart now. Well done. So hopefully on the fifth car, you draw it through your tally chart. Keep adding your, to your tally charts. 
well done so hopefully you got the same as the same amount if not i'll go back and you can pause here just to check there as well right moving on we are at a school we all wish we were at school today but there is a tally chart with adults and children. Pause now if you want to create this chart at home. If not, just write adults and you can start tallying and children as well. So it's saying have a think, but we don't know how many children there are yet. So let's have a little look. So as you can see, this is our adult and these two are our children so far. Let's keep going to find out how many children is going to arrive. Right, so pause here and make a little tally of how many children there are and how many adults there are and we will do it together carefully in a minute to check if you were right. So there is one adult there and the rest are children so let's check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and there is five carefully drawn through there and six, seven, eight, nine. Well done if you got that correct at home, especially if you remembered to draw your line for your 50. So looking at this chart now, we are going to be looking at the different sports that they are going to be looking at. So there's running, football and tennis. There aren't any tallies yet and the totals are there too. So let's read it across. So running, they haven't completed the tally chart yet, but the total of amount of children that joined in were six. For football, again, they haven't done their tally yet, so there were three that joined in. And finally, tennis here, again, they haven't done their tally, but there were 11 that joined in. So if you have drawn, drawn this chart at home, then I would like you to do, draw the tally of the six children that were joined in for running. And the same for football, drawing a tally of three, and then tennis as well. So pause here and have a little think and see if you got your tally chart right in a moment. So running, they did their four with a fifth drawn through and their six there. Let's look at three and 11. So as you can see, it is so clear in a tally chart, which is why it's very helpful and easy to use because you can count this so much quicker. Five, 10, 11. Well done if you got that right at home. So this is your Monday activity today and we would like you to create your own tally chart. So it says, make a tally chart and record what you see out your window or on a walk. This could be people, animals, or rubbish linking to our recycling topic. So have a little think about what you want to choose. You can use the tally charts on the screen to help you and support you. I will also show you how I would do one in a minute. Keep watching. Hello everyone and we are going to have a little look at drawing a chart together now. So if you're happy by just looking at the pictures then that's absolutely fine, you can continue all by yourself. If not, I have got a piece of scrap paper, a ruler and a pencil ready to go. So please watch and learn and we will draw a chart together. It will be upside down but I will be turning it back round. So let's have a little look at my piece of paper. So here it is, all I am going to do first is basically draw a big box. So let's do that. Thinking really carefully about draw, joining up my lines. And then the last two as well. There we go. Right, so then I need to do some rows. Think about what you're going to be doing. So I am going to be choosing all different animals because I know from my window at home or on my walk, I know I'm going to see lots of different animals. So I might do a few rows. Think about how big you want to make them. I might make do one more. Well done. And now drawing a little line down here. And at the top, I might title. So I'm going to write animals using my handwriting, neat handwriting and tally there so that is it so far i've got my animals and my tally so i now need to think about what animals i want to do i'm going to do some lovely dogs uh, i might do birds i could do or what else might i see on my walk i might look out for some lovely snails see if any of them are out and about and worms Okay, so now 
I'm going to have a little look. And obviously, every time I see a dog, or I'm going to see one dog at home who lives with me, so I know I've got one already. Oh, my goodness. And then lots of birds have just flown above me. Remember, for your fifth one, drawing through really carefully. And then carry on tallying them as soon as you see them. Lots of worms today. My goodness. And then continue. Make sure it's really clear. Obviously, once you've done your five, make sure your sixth and any more are away from your fifth one. So it's really, really clear to count them at the end. And if you want to challenge yourself, then you can do another column here and you could put total. And once you are finished, you can add them all up and have a little think about how many you saw. So remember, it's really easy once you've done your fifth line through to count them. So I know that's five, six, seven. So there you go. Hopefully that was a little bit helpful and helps you with your charts today. I hope you enjoy also going on a walk as well. Bye.